Alrighty traders, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and welcome to the Pip Grabber trading session today. Um, glad everyone here, uh, glad everyone's here and looking forward to some trading opportunities as we go ahead and look for a quick pip grabbing opportunity. Now I'm going to talk about the Euro, US dollar, I want to talk about the uh, Euro CAD because I know that we are in, we, we still are in positions on those particular pairs right there. So I am not oblivious to the fact that we are still in on those pairs and we're looking for price to go ahead and move in our direction. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of things here uh, from our previous trade uh, from yesterday. Uh, keeping in mind that we did close out some positive trades uh, in yesterday. All right. We did close out some positive trades in yesterday. So we definitely want to go ahead and take a look and see how that plays out. And uh, we we'll go ahead and take a look and see what the deal is with regards to uh, a new opportunity that we have this morning. So once again, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, this show is all about grabbing quick 20 per profits. And our strategy as of right now has been proven to be quite successful. If you take a look at our results so far, you can see that we do have good uh, trading results that is being set up already here on this platform. So we've got some good setups right here, as you can see. Um, great setups that have given us an opportunity to make 78% on this trading strategy. We're up 78%. This is the trade copier that we are currently uh, using. Uh, our trade copier is doing fantastic. We're up 1.4% this week. Uh, this month, we're up 1.7%. We've closed out uh, uh, 244 pips for the month so far. And it continues to be a good, good uh, trading strategy. Uh, details about the trade copier and information all inside the description. I keep saying that. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone is well aware that we do have uh, details in the description for everything that we talk about here inside this session. And, uh, and this strategy alone has generated over 13,000 pips inside the trade copier. You want to check out the details below. It's absolutely, uh, if, you're not, if you're not making money, listen, your traders, I've got no problem with traders that are making money. But if you're not making money or you're looking for another way of investing and, and growing your portfolio, then you said you want to go ahead and take a look at that. All right. Now, um, I'm going to say this, that uh, our setup that we have, everything, all the uh, the bells and whistles that we have, uh, is going to get better. we got uh, a lot of money being invested into improving this uh, this client this client experience. And so my YouTube channel is definitely going to get better and better with the content. I'm starting to bring in some guests as well on the, my different YouTube channels. There's two YouTube channels if you are uh, – now, we're broadcasting on different platforms, on Twitch – uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube, um, so wherever, and also LinkedIn as well. So wherever you at, um, you want to subscribe to two of my YouTube channels, FX Big Dog, and the other one is going to be this uh, is going to be the Traders Network Club. Those are the two channels you want to go ahead and subscribe to because we're going to be giving a lot of great content on both of them. My guest speakers will be coming on on the the Big Dog FX Big Dog YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to that. And then, of course, for trading opportunities that we do trade uh, uh, for setups like this, will be done on the Traders Network Club. All right. So those are the two YouTube channels that you want to go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to. Okay. Um, and yes, we uh, broadcast Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do apologize for coming in a little late today. So we do go ahead and broadcast on that. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and uh, so that we can go ahead and make sure that you get uh, alerted on the new updates. All right. So <clears throat> with that being said, what is the opportunity right now? What are we going to go ahead and trade right now? Uh, what are we currently in? And again, uh, we did uh, go ahead and place a couple of trades yesterday. Uh, we closed out yesterday on the... Uh, uh, the U.S. dollar, uh, where was it? Uh, we closed out on the Euro U.S. dollar, plus we closed out on the Aussie CAD. So we did get two positions closed yesterday, 
and that was on the uh, euro US dollar and we took profit on the uh, Aussie Canadian yesterday as well so two trades from yesterday paid off but the New Zealand cat is still active as you can see right here we're still active uh, we're down 7.4 pips on this one right here so we're waiting for price to go ahead and move up it looks like we can get a little bit a little bit of a bounce we've got a bit of a support coming off over here we can get a little bit of a bounce maybe go back up to the top right here and that's just enough for us to go ahead and close out with our 20 pip profit. So we should be seeing this profit in the next um, 45 minutes or so. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at what the market looks like uh, from a, a trader perspective right here on the New Zealand CAD as well. So take a look at New Zealand CAD right here. <clears throat> we definitely have a lot of support coming off over here at this low. So there's a lot of support right here. So we are expecting New Zealand CAD to bounce. And that's the reason why we're holding on to that buy on the New Zealand CAD. Now, there are a couple of trades that did come off um, with the trade cop that I want to go ahead and draw your attention to. And that is, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just pull it up here on my phone. And, okay, so that's going to be on, uh, we've got an Aussie, uh, Aussie CAD sell. So despite of the fact that we've seen a bearish move here on the, uh, sorry, bullish move on the uh, New Zealand CAD, in the short term, we do have a, a, a trade that's taking place, a, buy, a sell trade that's taking place on the, the, the Aussie CAD. Let's go take a look and see if we want to jump in this one for a quick 20 pip profit on those. So, okay. So, if you look over here, the reason why we are buying yesterday on this, right? The reason why we are buying yesterday on this is because of the fact that we had uh resistance a uh, sort of support down here and we look for price to move back up again so there is this resistance a little further up right here and that resistance is 38 pips above okay so about 38 pips above now in order for me to sell on the aussie cad even though the trade copies are really selling i want to if i'm going to do this manually then i want to go ahead and look for a couple of things uh, first you want to go ahead and look for a train and if you take a look over here, I would be more interested in selling the Aussie CAD for a short-term 20 pip grab if we get to this level right here. All right? If we get to that level right here, I may be considering to go ahead and do a sell on the, the Aussie CAD. So right now, price is a little bit further away from it. We're about 20 pips away from it. So yeah, this would be a perfect place right here because if it does sell there, then we could probably look for another entry point, about 20 pips above that. So, yeah, I would rather prefer to wait to sell here. So, I'm going to stand aside on a manual trade on the Aussie-Canadian uh, dollar. I'm going to stand aside on that one. But that's not the only one that's creating an opportunity for us right now. Let's take a look here. Now, I do know that we uh, we got out on uh, some of the, uh, the Aussie CAD yesterday but also the euro us dollar but i want to go ahead and take a look at us dollar cad oh look at this all right traders listen here i know we've got non-farm payroll coming out tomorrow we also got canadian data coming out tomorrow but this is not going to be a hold for that long i don't believe we're going to see this but look at this look at this wave structure right here we've got a wave one two price come down to the 1.68 right here uh, I am seeing an oversold condition right here. We had a bit of divergence. That's why price moved over here. Uh, and then over here, I'm seeing the market in oversold condition right here. And we definitely hit the support level again at the 1.6 rate. So there is definitely support here. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's look and see if we're going to be, if price is going to trade up. Just this high right here is going to be a 53 pip rally. All right, just this high right here is going to be a 53 pip rally. So, if that's all we need, then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and trade this going long. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trade this long. So, which means that I'm going to go ahead and look to buy US dollar CAD. I like the support right here. I also see that there is a irregular flat right here if worse for worst case scenario 
an irregular flat right here that's going to create this market to rally up towards this high. So if price holds at the support, then I should see price continuing its rally to above this level right here. All right. Okay. Now, traders, before we continue, if you like the content of this video, if you like joining, if you like this video, do me a favor, like this video. All right. Go ahead and smash the like button. Like this video because that's the only way I can beat the Google algorithm is smashing the like. Now, if you're not on YouTube and you're on another platform, please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. All right. Because I want to be able to provide more content, but also I want to get it out to as many people as I possibly can. So uh, you can be supportive on that. That will be greatly appreciated. All right. Let's jump into a trade right here. So Canadian uh, US dollar right here. I'm going to go ahead and put in a buy on this. Uh, we're going to buy. We're looking at 20 pip grab, which means that I'm looking at a net positive of 20 pips. So once we get into a net positive of 20 pips, we're going to go ahead and close out. So we're currently long right now on the uh, the US dollar CAD. And uh, uh, we're going to continue with this right here. And just so that you know, all of these trades right here, I am active, currently active. You can see right here, this is my exposure. I'm active on US dollar CAD. You can see there, I've got multiple positions in over here. This is a live trading account. It's part of the trade copier. So when you see this, you know I am in. So I'm already in, I'm, and I'm down about 51 pips. I've got multiple positions in. So trust me, I'm looking for price to rally. All right, I'm long on US dollar CAD. Okay, now, um, you're a US dollar. I believe that we've got an opportunity here to get in on Euro US dollar. We picked up a trade yesterday. We made money from yesterday. Let's go ahead and look at another opportunity on Euro US dollar. So Euro US dollar is coming back inside this. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love the fact that we're trading back above that resistance right here. All right. And so I'm not going to even wait for that one hour candle to close just because I know that we're expecting correction move. And we're looking for price to move up all the way up to this level right here. All right, so I'm looking for price to go up to this level. And that gives me, uh, from this point right here, it gives us about a 75 pip opportunity. Now, once again, um, with, a U trading, uh, U, with a U trading for that 75 pip opportunity uh, or not, uh, and you're just trading for maybe a 20 pip opportunity, well, that's okay. You know, whatever makes you feel good. All right, now. Um, I got a trader asking me here. Um, asking me here. Uh, Maxwell says here, will I be streaming? Uh, will I be streaming uh, tomorrow for the non-farm peril? Uh, actually, tomorrow. Uh, what time is that? Nine o'clock? Uh, Eight thirty? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I've got something scheduled. No, I'll be in class at eight thirty, so I will not be streaming. I don't believe I'll be streaming. Nope, don't believe I'll be streaming. Tomorrow, I have a, a, another session. Um, so, uh, you know what, actually, uh, you know what, Maxwell, maybe there's a possibility. That's why you want to be subscribed to the channel, because there is a possibility that I will stream for the uh, the uh, the non-farm payroll, this, uh, because it I've got a class at 9 o'clock. I could definitely do an 8.30 uh, stream as well. So, yeah, that's the reason why you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video so that we can go ahead and do those type of things. All right. Now, uh, let's jump into a trade on the euro US dollar. Grabbing 20 pips out of this trade. We know we've got the non-farm com uh, coming out tomorrow. But we're going uh, to go ahead and trade this for just a 20 pip grab. So, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and grab 20 pips out of this trade. Uh, this is the euro US dollar right here. I'm going to go in and buy, buy at market, and I'm looking for a 20 pip grab on this trade right here. So, so we've got three trades in right now. We're long on New Zealand CAD with two positions. We are long on US dollar CAD, and we're long on euro US dollar. I went ahead and stood aside on the New Zealand CAD, uh, sorry, the Aussie CAD, because I'm looking for price to move up about 20 pips higher before I go ahead and want to look to sell that. So I guess you're asking the question here. You're probably saying to me, well, Big Dog, if you're looking at price moving up 20 pips, why don't you just buy uh, Aussie CAD 
and buy it long for 20 pips? Hmm. And that's an interesting question right here. Let me take a look here. Uh, let me see here right here. So Aussie CAD right here. Aussie bullish. CAD slightly bullish for the week. Uh... Aussie CAD is bullish on one of my, my system already. Huh. You know what? If I look at the analysis, now this may be going against my, tra my trade copier, but that's okay. That's the beauty of this right here about technical analysis is because, yeah, if we're expecting price to move about 20 pips up and maybe even possibly 34 pips up, why don't we do a counter? Because... Even if price does drop back down 20 pips and we get in on another position right here and the trade copy goes ahead and profits on 20 pips and we go and we long on this, we could get in in multiple areas right here while it's still inside this consolidation. There's definitely 20 pips to the upside right here. So it would make sense for us to go ahead and buy on Aussie CAD. Why not? Let's do that. So Aussie CAD right here, let's go ahead and throw a buy on that. Buy at market, and we're looking for price to go ahead and rally for 20 pips. All right, so we're actually trading uh, along uh, on the Aussie cat. Let's take a look and see how that plays out. Now, that is against what the trade copy is doing right now, but the trade copy might be a little late, and the upside move could create two entries of the trade copy and then sell off back down south for a 20 pip grab. In the meantime, we're making 20 pips up, and it doesn't matter if the market moves south, right? If the market moves bearish, we'll make money on the downside too as we go ahead and look at the trade copy and create the same sort of signals. So putting this in as a trade opportunity here to buy long, I think we should be good. So we've got four trades in. New Zealand CAD long. Uh, we've got uh, uh, US dollar CAD long. we got Euro US dollar long. And we've got Aussie Canadian long. Those are the four long positions that we have right here. We'll go ahead and take a look and see how that plays out. Okay. All right. So that pretty much that pretty much wraps up the session. That's short, in and out, quick. That is a quick, quick decision on exactly what we're going to do here. I think we are in the right direction. I think we picked up the right levels. But we're definitely going to make sure that we get out of our 20 pip grab because remember, these trades are only 20 pip grabs. All right. Only 20 pip, pip grabs. And if you're asking yourself, big dog, how successful is the strategy that you're using? Well, this strategy is successful and has been successful for the last nine, nine months, made over 13,000 pips. So, yes, it is successful. We have a trade copy. If you're interested in the trade copy, check out below. There's a link below. But also, if you're interested in this tool that I use right here, uh, it's called the Pip Grabber, uh, Pip Grabber Tool. Wow. A unique name, right? But if you're interested in the Pip Grabber Tool that I use to enter the market manually and do these manual trades, it does have a full automation uh, component to it, um, but that's going to be a, a little different. But if you're interested in the details of that tool, go ahead and uh, check out the description below. There is a link there, so you can go ahead and put your details in, and we'll get information sent out to you as soon as we have that available. If you've already filled in that document, we'll send you the information as soon as it's available. As soon as we finalize the details, we'll send you information about it, how you can get, uh, get access to that. So check it out in the description below. If you're not on YouTube, you may want to go to my YouTube channel. Check it out. FX Big Dog and the Traders Network Club. Those are the two channels right there. All right. So with that being said, uh, we are done. And uh, I may see you guys uh, tomorrow for the non-farm peril. Check out the links for the uh, for the next uh, video update as we, uh, as we check out the non-farm peril tomorrow. Traders, happy trading.